Hello, I'm Gigi. Welcome to Gigi's Magic Mailbox, a place where we have lots of fun, get mailbox surprises, and read great stories. Did you hear that? That means something's just arrived in the Magic Mailbox. Let's see what it is. Gigi opens the mailbox. Fireworks appear. Oh, a book about Fiona the Hippo. This is great timing because guess what? Fiona just found out that she's going to be a big sister. That's right, another hippo is going to be born at the Cincinnati Zoo. Well, if you have a copy, go grab it and we can read this together. All right, let's get started. Fiona the Hippo. Fiona the Hippo was illustrated by Richard Cowdery. Snowflakes fall. On a cold winter's night, a baby hippo was born. Cincinnati Zoo, Hippo Cove. Cameras flash. Her name was Fiona, and she arrived earlier than expected. The zookeeper snuggled her and loved her, and the whole world watched. There's our favorite sound again. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Pink fireworks spray. Aw, a little toy hippo like Fiona. And a little stuffed hippo. These are so cute. I bet at the Cincinnati Zoo they have stuffed hippos of Fiona herself. I love reading about Fiona and knowing that she's a real live hippo born right here in Cincinnati. Well, let's see what else happens to Fiona. A blanket covers Fiona. There she is. Really cute and kind of slimy, said Ostrich, as she and her friends peeked at the littlest hippo in the world. Fiona had to learn to eat from a bottle, just like other babies in the zoo. And when she was ready, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and said, I've got this. And burp! She did. There's that sound again. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Purple fireworks burst from the mailbox. Oh, how cute. This is a little pink bib. Did you know that Fiona drank from a bottle when she was just a little tiny baby hippo? That's so cute. Do you think they put a bib on her when she was eating other foods, just like other babies? I don't know. Maybe they did. Well, let's see what else happens with Fiona. Fiona grew stronger, and it was time to learn to walk, just like the other babies in the zoo. And when she was ready, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and said, I've got this. Fiona stumbles. And wobble, wobble, plop. She tried over and over until she did. Little Fiona grew bigger still, and it was time to learn to swim, just like other babies in the zoo. She wears floaties. When she was ready, she let out a snort, wiggled her ears, and said, I've got this. And step by step, splash, she did. Fiona jumps in a pool. How exciting. Let's see what's in the magic mailbox. Green fireworks burst. Oh, look. This is a ball that you can play with in the pool or in the ocean. Just like Fiona liked playing in the pool with the pool toys. I liked how she had those uh, floaty things and uh, the noodles. That was pretty funny. Well, let's see what else happens with Fiona. Fiona stands on a scale. Fiona grew and grew and got stronger. And the animals at the zoo were so proud. Look at our baby, so roly-poly. When can she come out to play? But Fiona was busy. She was growing and learning about new things every day. Like bubbles. Bubbles fall around her. Did you hear that? That's our favorite sound. Let's see what the magic mailbox brought her. White fireworks explode. Aww. Bubbles! That's so cute that Fiona wanted to play with the bubbles. 
Let's see if Gigi can blow. Oh, I thought the stick would come out. Here we go. Let's see if we can blow some now. Wow, that made a lot of bubbles. <laughs> bubbles are so much fun. The grandkids always love playing with them at Gigi's house. Well, let's see what else Fiona likes to play with. Balloons say, love you. As the animals in the zoo watched and the zookeepers watched, the whole world watched Fiona too. Soon the little hippo had a mountain of fan mail that said, congratulations, Fiona. You are amazing. We love you, little baby hippo. Fiona stands at a window. Then one day, after she was done eating and walking and swimming, Fiona said, I want to be in the water with them. She looked at the two big hippos swimming in the pool. I want my mama and daddy. Fiona was finally strong enough to swim with her parents, and she was ready. She let out a snort wiggled her ears, and said, I've got this. And she swam with her mama for the first time. Wow, will my teeth get that big? She asked excitedly. Fiona's mommy opens her mouth wide. Fiona went swimming with her daddy, too. Wow, will my bottom get that big? She giggled playfully. Fiona bites her daddy's bottom. Fiona loved her family. And life was good for the little hippo. But something was missing. As much as Fiona loved her mama and daddy, she wanted something more. I wish I had some friends to play with, she said. Fiona sits beside the water. Did you hear that? It's our turn to play with the baby. It's about time. Zoo animals gather. And one by one, the animals joined their new friend, Fiona, for the biggest pool party the zoo had ever seen. Birds, reptiles, and mammals swim with Fiona. I think it's sweet that Fiona knew she was missing something. She loved her mommy and daddy, but she wanted friends, didn't she? Well, I think it would be fun if we did a guessing game where I show you just a tiny piece of an animal and you try to guess what it is. These will be all animals that you would find at the zoo. All right, let's get started. Purple fireworks light up a long trunk. What do you think that is? You're right, an elephant. And what do you think that is? Pink fireworks light up a pink beak. Good job, a flamingo. Let's try a few more. Fireworks reveal a spotted head. What do you think that is? A giraffe. Wow, you're doing great. And what do you think that is? A furry face has whiskers. You're right. King of the jungle, a lion. All right, how about one more? What do you think this little thing is? Brown eyes, look around. A monkey. Great job. Well, let's get back to the story. That night, Fiona snuggled up with her family. She was bigger, she was stronger, she was happy, and Fiona was loved. Go to sleep, little hippo, said her mama. Your next big adventure is right around the corner. As Fiona drifted off to sleep, she whispered, I've got this. And she did. The moon and stars shine above them. Thank you for joining me today to read Fiona the Hippo. This is such a great story about such an awesome hippo that everyone in the whole wide world was watching when she was born and as she grew up. And now I know that everyone's going to be so excited to see her new baby brother or baby sister born. I can't wait to see what it is. Make sure to watch to the end so that you can see footage of Fiona herself at the Cincinnati Zoo. I've got a lot of Gigi meets Fiona the hippo. She's five now. But I'm not even close. Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. But through my inhibition, I've become quite... Fiona swims in the water. Then I love you the most. Gigi meets Fiona. She stands beside her water tank. That this could be the easiest thing. 
Fiona peeks her eyes, nose, and ears above the water surface. Then she dives underwater. Fiona swims near the windows of her tank. She raises her head and appears to smile. And you might break my heart. Above the water surface, Fiona flaps her ears in circles and opens her mouth wide. Watch her ears. Every day, and I just can't bring myself to give up right now. Not this way, cause I love you and I wanna hold you in. She plays and swims with other hippos. They glide under the water. Fiona nuzzles her mommy. She hops along the bottom of her tank. Scratchy whiskers surround Fiona's mouth like a beard. Wrinkles cover her gray, leathery skin. This will be the easiest thing if I let it. And I can't be too afraid to fall. So I'm leaving everything on the table. And you can have my heart. Under the water, Fiona walks on the bottom of her tank. She leaps and plays. She sticks her nose above the water to take a breath, then dives under the surface. She splashes in the water. She frolics and swims. Visitors take pictures of Fiona and the other hippos. Fiona's mom, Bibi, sits underwater. Fish swim around Fiona. Children stand at the window and watch Fiona. Gigi stands with two children and smiles. Images of hearts surround photos of Fiona. Watch for Gigi's next Fiona video, coming soon, featuring Mrs. Collier's kindergarten class. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching Gigi's Magic Mailbox. Magic Mailbox sound effect by zapsplat.com. See you soon. The Cincinnati Zoo posts an Instagram photo of watermelons for Fiona. Accessibility provided by the U.S. Department of Education.